Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to the National Blood Authority. Here at the NBA, we have developed a range of systems to ensure Australians who need blood products have access to these now and well into the future. In 2016, we are rolling out our newest system, Bloodstar. Today, I want to show you why Bloodstar is so important and what it means for patients who are or will need immunoglobulin products in the future. To show you this, I'm going to take you on an inside tour of the MBA Blood Operations Centre. Let's go. Here is where all the action happens. On these screens, we can assess whether a particular product is running low or where they are needed most across Australia. Making sure we have enough products but not too much is a balancing act. Blood products, although necessary for many Australians, can be costly to manufacture and have use-by dates, so we don't want them expiring before they are used. And sometimes more effective alternative treatments are available for patients. This is why Bloodstar is so important. It centralises the ordering, dispensing and supply of immunoglobulin products. With Bloodstar, we can make sure that access to government funded immunoglobulin products is fair, consistent with current clinical evidence and most importantly that this limited resource is available to patients who are likely to get the greatest benefit. So how do we determine whether a patient can get government funded immunoglobulin products? When determining a patient's eligibility, professionals in hospitals around Australia refer to this book, the criteria for the clinical use of intravenous immunoglobulin in Australia. The criteria was first developed in 2007 and continues to be reviewed based on available clinical evidence. We are also moving the criteria to an online format so it can be updated more quickly as new evidence is made available. So how can you help? Previously, similar information was managed by the Australian Red Cross Blood Service. Bloodstar is a new system that will manage information about your treatment and we need to know you have given your permission for that information to be stored in Bloodstar. This new system will not only provide increased and more robust security of your personal information, but will mean faster processing, more flexibility for patients to move between hospitals for treatment and give the doctors and nurses that care for you access to see the same up-to-date treatment information irrelevant of location. Your doctor or nurse will ask you for this permission on our behalf to ensure you continue to access precious government-funded immunoglobulin products. If you haven't seen our privacy statement and notice for Bloodstar or would like more information on how your data will be securely managed, I would encourage you to visit www.blood.gov.au forward slash patients today.